Have you ever wondered what could make Bitcoin shine brighter than Ethereum under the crypto spotlight? Well, let me tell you a tale of intrigue where the answer lies in the world of exchange traded funds or ETFs. Uh, once upon a time in the bustling realm of digital currencies, uh, uh, Ethereum hogged the limelight with its ETF approval. But little did we know, Bitcoin was gearing up for a spectacular comeback with prices surging towards an all-time high of $71,000. Bitcoin's bullish rally had begun. Now, here's the fascinating part. Just a week prior to the much anticipated Federal Reserve meeting on June 12th, a whopping $886 million flowed into Bitcoin ETFs. Yes, you heard call it right. This marked the most significant inflow since March. Why so much excitement? Simple. Investors were confident about imminent Fed rate cuts this year. Let's dive deeper into this captivating saga. On June 4th, Bitcoin spot ETFs witnessed a massive surge, as per data from Farside. Leading the charge was none other than Meter. Fidelity, which raved in a staggering $378.7 million. Close behind were BlackRock's iShares Bitcoin Trust, $274.4 million, and ARK Investment. And playing reprise. But wait, there's more. While some players enjoyed bountiful harvests, others faced challenging times. For instance, Grayscale's GBTC fund reported only a modest net in for guests who joined the list of zeros in Vesco Galaxy Bitcoin ETF. Nevertheless, the overall trend indicated emerging demand in the market. Our story doesn't end here. As global interest in Bitcoin ETFs grew, newcomers like Australia and Thailand entered the scene. This development underscored the rising appeal among institutions and capable, capable of individuals seeking conventional avenues to invest in Bitcoin. And before we conclude our enchanting narrative, let me leave you with a lighthearted thought. Now, some say Bitcoin's resurgence can be attributed to the upcoming Fed rate cut. Others believe it's due to the recent drop in certain treasury yields. But my personal theory, maybe it's because penguins prefer holding Bitcoins instead of fish. With that said, thank you for joining me on this thrilling journey. Until next time, we'd love to see you. Thank you.